was this is a story of how I scared my wife so bad uh, she smacked me in the face. I, I was walking home from an event. She was driving home from a separate event. I saw her get out of her car. She ran upstairs to our apartment. I knew she was going to come back down. It's like nine o'clock at night, middle of winter. It's pitch black. I'm like, I should be a good husband and surprise her. So I got in the back seat of her car. <laughs> and yet, where were you then? Uh, <laughs> So I'm there, and then what took you guys like a second to figure out finally dawned on me, and I'm like, I'm a dark silhouetted figure in the back seat of her car. I'm gonna scare the living daylights out of this woman. So I didn't know what to do. She's walking down the stairs. I panicked. <laughs> I ducked. <laughs> she gets in the car. Now I'm directly behind her. I've made the situation 10 times worse. I'm like, what do I do now? Just gradually sit up? Just let her see me in the rear view mirror. <laughs> Be terrifying. She starts the car. Now there's a time limit on this thing. I can't pop up when she's driving. They're like, hey, ah, boom, hit the ditch. RCMP, how'd she die? I'm a moron, that's how she died. <laughs> so I realized I had to pop up sooner rather than later. I had to pop up and I had to say something. Something that would calm her down. Something that would put her at ease. And I can't be shouting at the poor girl. So I popped up and I whispered, don't scream. <laughs> My name is Matt Falk, I love you, thank you.